we're back in together again on Lake One and Story because this game is getting really interesting. So night two, we'll, uh, we left off here last time. So yeah, right. uh, second night, and now I am not so excited anymore. So if any Let's of you didn't hear the phone call, stage tonight. I wonder if Mom left a message. Oh. So you guys can hear this, but I'm not talking through this. So. This game is pretty interesting, so we need to shut down the power of class, so let me... Hello, okay. hello there, oh, honey. Well done. See? I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You did good. Hey, I have an update for you. We did a checking routine to the animatronics earlier this morning. You know, mere protocol thing. We don't really have anything special scheduled for this week. We did a couple of tests and monitored each animatronic's view, and we found something interesting that could be useful for you. Alex and John Kun, the coyote and the rabbit on stage 02, appear to have Wait, that's a rabbit. Similar flaw in common. It looks like their vision glitches in the dark. The image goes all pixelated, so I think you can use that against them. I doubt you can fool them with the speakers, so my suggestion is, if they ever leave their stage and approach your office, just try shutting down the office's power with a switch on your desk. It's likely they won't see you, or their system's rebooting is another possibility. By the way, now that we're focusing on Stage 02, uh, last night I managed to set up the music tape in there to work properly, but I doubt I'll be able to do the same now. Listen, just check that camera every now and then and make sure it's playing, alright? If it ends, or if it glitches, whatever, just rewind and then play it again, got it? I spoke to Michael and, uh, he said one of them would move if the tape remained stopped. I think that must be Alice. So, yeah, Alice be one careful nine. and pay attention to that. Alright, I've gotta go and do some paperwork now, but take care. Love you. And now you're telling me I have to deal with more of them? At least I have for granted I'll get a bigger paycheck. So we know this red dude's moving at these two, or these three.
So we just gotta click with this. So let's pretend our thing is here and just okay, yeah. And we need to react really fast. Folks, I'm done for today. See you tomorrow. I guess. Okay, are we gonna get more lore now of the game? Oh, we are. Ashley, welcome to my home. Huh. You're after it and I expected. You may must be very enthused if you if you I, about if you ask about your project. Hey! I sure am. Thanks for calling taking your time to help me out, sir. Oh, don't say it. It's always a pleasure to share some time with a fellow detective, he <laughs> Hey, I'll be with you in a moment, okay? Please come on in and take a seat. My wife um, is, is making coffee. Oh, that sounds great, thanks! Oh, we can... We can move around. So space bar was to interact, so there's a closet, yeah, we can't really interact with anything. Oh, hey. Good afternoon, madam. My, my name is Ashley, Ashley Waters. <laughs> Mr. Seal. Oh, hi there. You must be the lady Darren told you would come. I heard, I heard he offered to help with the investigation. I'm Elizabeth Hill. It's nice to meet you, Ashley. The pleasure is mine. Feel free to take a seat. Yeah, no. Coffee will be ready in a few minutes. Excellent, I will wait. Now we can sit here, okay, interesting. Can we sit down? No. Okay, let's keep on moving. Who is this? Shane. Hey, hello, everyone. Who are you? Oh, hi. My name is Ashley. Ashley 
Jay Waters. Well, hello there, Ashley. My name is Jane. Your middle name... Is your middle name Jane too? What does the J stand for? Oh, it's actually Chil Chil Chilean. Ha! You got me excited for a second. Anyway, what are you doing, Kea? You're not from college, are you? No, no, actually. I met your father at the lo local park. I wanted to interview with him for an investigation project. Can't you end up inviting me to team up with him? Turns out he's been working on the same case for a while now. Oh, I see. Yeah, my dad's a bit of a nerd when it comes to crime investigation and detective games. He used to be a police detective when I was a child. Anyways, tell you, tell me more about you. What do you like? Well, I love reading and writing stories. My dad used to collect fantasy novels and comic books when he was young and eventually collect his collection box ended up in my bedroom when I was little. So I began reading those books and grew up through a passion storytelling. I also love plushies, dogs and I'm addicted to cranberry juice. Haha. <laughs> Lovely. Where are you from? That is quite small and I've never seen you around before. Ah, well, I was born in Lab Labrador, but I lived in Montreal my entire life. It's a nice place to live at. I have lots of wonderful memories. Really? Uh huh. I'd like to listen. <laughs> well. When I was small, my mother and I would spend the whole weekend with a friend of hers and his son, Harlan. We both became best friends after a while, and we used to play on the bay backyard for hours. He had many crazy adventures together. We, uh, he was like that. He was like that brother I never had, and it was so much fun. Aww, that's absolutely adorable. Yeah, although it's often heartbreaking thinking of Orlan and his dad. You see, he had a sister. And she got kidnapped, never returned home, and then, a few months later, his mother died in a horrible car crash. So, while I think of the good times we spent together, it's hard to avoid thinking that mom and I were perhaps the only comfort they had. We were the close to missing elements, we were like a family. Like a family. Dang. All right, Wednesday, surprise me. Let's get cold in here. Well, hello there, Ashi. How's everything going? I assume everything's running like clockwork. It's your third night here. Phew. Okay. Um, well, everything's pretty boring during the day. Like I said, we don't have anything special scheduled for this week. There's no birthdays, no holidays, and, uh, there's barely any clients. As of today, the only clients we had were a family and a couple. Yeah, you can't imagine how bored I am here. But hey, lucky you, you have the whole location just for you all night. Kids must envy you. <laughs> I- How does I the mean, phone stay you know, on? maybe you, uh, Maybe you can just leave your office for a while and, uh, play in the arcade zone for a few minutes. <laughs> you really are lucky to be the manager's daughter. Well, whatever. This morning I checked some old footage from the cameras. Michael showed me so I could tell you a few things. Hey, I'm really glad that boy is trying to help you. I didn't want to believe things were that bad for him, but... If he's really that worried about you, then I must say I was wrong. But it's just unexplainable, you know? I saw Lake moving from one room to another in the recordings. What Michael did to push him back was kind of curious. I could see him hiding in a dark spot, and then at one point he just stood up in the center of the room, and when Michael turned on the flashlight, Lake just ran away. I think he hates light, so if he tries to bother you, you can bother him with your Who's light flashlight weapon. But be very, very wary, because he's... he's... Fast, you know? Alright. Who is All I have to say, take care. Bye. I'm a guest. I'm, I'm guessing that it's that. Uh, oh, well, there it is. She says I can play a little, then break 
breaks my peace, telling me another of these freaks moves too. Great way to lighten the mood. That's awesome, isn't it? Oh, and both of them are gone already. I'm about to panic. I didn't hear him though. Well, I'm gonna leave this video here. It was pretty short, but uh, we're gonna continue this in the next episode. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!